start the video before we're actually into the game properly here. Sometimes that's how we do it. Sometimes we go straight in, sometimes we have a little bit of a talk beforehand. Apologies yet again, ladies and gentlemen, you might be able to hear the fan, but it's just something that's got to be done right now because of how hot it is. The fan actually sounds a little bit louder than it was yesterday. <laughs> it's on the same setting, I don't understand how that can be the case, but as I can see, this is a very competitive league. Whoever ends up winning this is going to still have dropped many points. And today, we've got one hell of a rivalry. We're playing France at home. And I want to try to concentrate here. Let's hope we see some red faces. A lot of yellow faces. But I am seeing Carambo. A guy who I don't even know. Number 11, Morif. Lizarazu. Yeah, I've got some happy faces there. But oh my, look at this. We've got Sol Campbell. He's happy. Each team matching each other up with the... Formations. Who's better at. Yeah, Skulls is better than Gascoigne. I want to play Skulls. Get Gascoigne out, Beckham in. What have we got here? Uh, no weakness in the team, is there? Counter attack. Might go counter attack. Try and soak up some pressure. <laughs> Damn, listen to these tactics, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, enough bullshit. I didn't mean to do that. Let's see what happens here. Less bullshit talk in this game, more concentration. More normal commentary. Here's McManaman. Zidane. <laughs> nice name for Zidane there. Oof. It's France losing the ball in the centre of the park. Nice one too, though. I accidentally had my finger on the left bumper button. That was an accidental one too. Lillian Charam, he was a great player. Yuri Jokaev. Because this is the year that France won the World Cup in France. Jokaev, fucking hell, that is a shot with power. I said we are playing counter attack here and Alan Shearer he's trying to spearhead that counter oh I tried to pass it back in the middle this guy bar I had a friendly playing on this game about a week ago gearing up for this tournament and I played a game as France and Ibrahim Bar, I think his name was he was fast as fuck here's Alan Shearer he's into the box oh Bertez the crazy Monaco goalkeeper Smothers the shot. Brilliant tackle there from David Beckham. Boisterous in that midfield. And here he is again. He can play centrally, of course. But Ibrahim Bar chasing him. Ian Wright runs to the right. Plays it back. Neville, it's a great cross. Remember in the, I think it was the last episode, we scored from an astonishing header from a cross. Sometimes early crosses are better on this game because you can get more power on them. When you see the the power gauge, that's exciting because it means you're going to hit a better cross in the box, in my opinion. But you've got to do it from further away the goal. <laughs> David Seaman just put his foot on the ball before catching it, though. That was weird. Ooh, two absolute midfield gods there. Paul Scholes and Zinedine Zidane. That looked dangerous. And Gary Neville wins the ball back. Avenging his Manchester United teammate. He's 
rampaging down the right hand side now he's still <laughs> going he's brilliant on this game Neville man no think he was ever this fast but who cares he plays it inside oh Whoa, we've got some Sacre Blurs playing at Wembley. Fuck off. I mean, would, would I settle for a draw here? Well, we're probably not going to win away from home. It's possible, but it's going to be harder. So I'm not sure. Clean sheet's good. The ball distribution is good. Shira, ooh. Interesting game. Last three or four games have been less goals. In this competition, in these fixtures for England, the short pass finds its target. Oh. Right, goes down. It's a bit of a soft one. We don't care. I don't think you can actually choose your free kick taker on this game, can you? No, you can't. Not that I know of. Who gives a shit? Shira. That's on target. I think it's just going over the bar. But it was wide. Far wide. That's the issue. Skulls giving the ball away again. I think he's better in a higher position. Oh, what a ball that is. Come on, Seaman. Oh, good save. Smothers the shot. Bertez and Seaman. Both saving the team so far. Zinedine Zidane playing from a slightly deeper role. <laughs> Gary Neville just took the piss out of Zidane. That is outrageous. Superb passing play. Scenes, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. It's Lillian Charam. That's a foul. And Shearer. He's going to have another pop here. Ooh. Whistles over the bar. As you can probably guess, or be able to see by now, I should say, ladies and gentlemen. No replays on this game. Kind of a shame. I love the replays on ISS Pro Evolution 2. That's your first drink of the episode if you're playing the ISS drinking game, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. Jock AFC. And that is one hell of a finish. It's a cultured finish. I always remember this guy is more of a number 10, but on this game, well, he is uh, a number 9. Striker. Oh, I skipped that, and I didn't mean to, because although it's... The opposition scoring the goal. That was brilliant. A lot of players in this game will miss that shot. But that was a very cultured finish indeed. And we're behind. This is not good. Oh, fucking hell. I mean, they've got a lot of pace in their defence. Just three shots each. Mm. And in the pissing down rain, England must find a response. Kind of reminds me of that game, Kevin Keegan's last game uh, against Germany. That was a Euro 2000 qualifier. Oh, oh no, it wasn't. It was a it was a World Cup 2002 qualifier, but it was right at the start. And uh, he resigned, and England ended up qualifying for that tournament when Sven Goran Eriksson took over. So it's probably justified. He's making a run. He's cleared it with his head. Mm. I'm thinking of going to a 4 3 3 here. Don't know why. Slotted through beautifully. Very close game so far. One moment of absolute brilliance from Jacques AF is. The difference between the two teams is McManaman. Skulls. Shearer. It's crowded. It's crowded in that central area. I think that's why I want to go to a 4 3 3. I think I want two wider players higher up the pitch. Fucking hell, man. He made that his. It's over the bar from Moritz. Um, I mean, yeah. I don't know who that guy is, his fake name, but I bet I'll know who he is if I knew his real name. 
Shear up. Make a run, you fucking idiots. Into space. First time, Neville. Go on. Oh. Fucking hell. How did he not get his head on that? Paul Lynch, great tackle. Here's McManaman. Ian Wright. Beckham. It's a cross. Oh! A scuff clearance there. Putting the pressure on here, we're gonna go to a 4 3 3 attack. 4 3 3 attack, there it is. Same defence, of course. Ints in the hole, skulls a little higher. Let's get Beckham in that midfield. And let's have. Whoa, wait a minute. Ian Wright's playing in this game? Holy shit, I didn't even realise. Bit of a cock-up from me, though. It's going to happen every so often in this series, I guess, but I shouldn't have been playing Ian Wright. Um, you know what? Teddy Sheringham, I think it was the last game where he scored that last-minute equaliser. So he's coming on. Speed 8. Shearer is faster. Let's put Shearer to the side, then. Uh, I mean, McManaman's not really a striker. Let's get Fowler on as well. Support if he needs it. The passes are spread around well. Yeah, I'm I'm starting to think, ladies and gentlemen, we're not we're not gonna win this competition like I did with ISS Pro Evolution 2. I find it harder to break down the defence in this game. <sighs> and I've I've heard people say the opposite, you know? They think this game's easier. Shearer. Oh. It's caught ahead of the ball. Got to be careful with that, mate. That's a shit fucking pass. Oh, that's a low cross. How does the computer... Wait a minute. I had a look at the controls online for this, and I didn't see a low cross, but the CPU do do low crosses. So what's that about? The short pass finds its target. This looks Shearer! He's in! He tries the shot. Give it some gusto! Shearer! He makes up for that weak team effort five minutes ago. It's in the onion bag. It's one all. Let's see that again. This manager's a genius. Puts him on the right hand side. Just hits the port and goes in. Another cultured finish. And with just less than 15 minutes remaining, England have got the equaliser. But wait. Could be the bit more. Shearer again. Oh, it's in the bar. Oh, the post. Scintillating football, ladies and gentlemen. It's a one-man show from Mr. Alan Shearer. Here he is again. He's won a corner. Ten minutes remaining on the clock. Going to take a short one and whip it in. Int. Sheringham. How oh, the friggin' hell did he not get his head on that? Now, we're going to stay 4-3-3 here, ladies and gentlemen, but we're just going to have two DMs instead. Oh. A sudden burst of speed. He passes back. Is there a late goal in this game? Right now, if you offered me the draw, I'd take it, but I feel like we could score. It's been a great game, even though it's only one all. Oh putting Shearer on that right hand side. Has made a big difference. The Dan stops play. Great from Campbell. But then he fucking loses it. Oh. Boot it. Oh, I didn't want that to happen. For God's sake, man. Ints up to scores. And into the French midfield. 
into the half. How much injury time will this referee allow? Slotted through. Shira. Ooh. In the last minute. Where's that going? Back to Bertez. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. A very competitive game. Interesting. Six shots each. Obviously, there's no possession stats in this game, but I feel like we deserve to edge that. I think in the second half, we got the goal to get back in the game. 76 minute and... I think we were deserving of a 2-1 win though. Very close game. We haven't been defeated. Look at Mini. He has a few draws there. Still right up there. Obviously a bit surprised Yugoslavia are. France are right behind us, so look, we've not they've not lost any ground in us, but it's a decent result, really. I mean, in real life, right now, in 2024, if there was a kind of world league like this, I think England would probably do well in it. Back in 98, though, I think this England team probably wouldn't have done so well. But ladies and gentlemen, it's another home game. That's interesting. I think this is the first time where it's had consecutive home games, but... It's now Italy. I think they're up there in the table. <sighs> yes, I'm bloody speechless. You want to have a look at this defence they've got. It is peak levels, ladies and gentlemen. It's a sunny day in London. And after that draw, we've got to be looking for a win here. Ooh, Shearer and Fowler, very exciting. Italy are playing a 4-4-2. You know what? We're going to stick with this 4 3 3. Scholes is going to come out. We've got Gaza there. Shearer is going to stay on that right. Beckham as a number 10. Apologies if you've heard my guts there, ladies and gentlemen. What have I had today? I've had a rocket pesto. Kale. Leek. Spinach. A bit of kale. Chicken. Oh, yeah. And a bit of Oriborio rice. I think that's what it's called, anyway. Anyway, enough of the culinary talk. <laughs> What's going on with this front line? Fowler. No, Shearer on the right. Let's get Sheringham. Slap bang in the, in the middle. Uh, Beckham in the number 10 roll. Who cares? A lot of happy faces. Now they've got Zola, Di Roberto, Di, Di Baggio, Di Matteo, is that? Albertini. Maldini, Costa Curta, Cannavaro, Peruzzi, and I think that's Vieri. Played a friendly on this game last week, and I was thinking it was Del Piero, but it could be Del Piero, but it could also be Vieri, so. It's a perfect day for soccer. Team... It's a perfect day for soccer. Wait, International superstar. Let's have it. So. This is another home game, and if we don't win this one, then you're looking at the fixture list and you're thinking, well, quite simply, we're going to have more away games than home games, and it's going to be, in my opinion, inevitable. We're going to slip down the table. That was an early strike. I don't remember. Oh, goodness me, there's a lot of space there. I didn't expect that. Oh, ran too long. I was looking at, <clears throat> I think it's Fowler in the middle there. And I was thinking about giving him the ball. Kind of got me in two minds. Oh, my days. A lot of power generated on that header. This is a blistering start from England. Unanticipated for me. Zola, bloody hell, he's fast on this game. I don't think he was ever that fast. They're playing a high line, Italy. And I'm finding it easy to get in. Oof. Dear Matteo. A man who's won the Champions League as manager and then fucked off and no one ever saw him again. 
Great defending from Saul Campbell though. Zola with a low cross again. The computer are being a bit cheesy with those low crosses. I want to know how they're doing them. Is there something I'm missing in this game? That is Christian Vieri, I think. And he's hammered it home. England, yet again, are going to have to come from behind. Look at that low cross. No one seems interested. Vieri is. Underside of the bar. Foot like a traction engine. 1-0 Italy. And... There's some concerned faces in the crowd now. Zola. Oh, it's, it's going to be two. It is two. There's nothing I can do about that, ladies and gentlemen. I can't use super cancel in this game to put myself into the right position. All I can do is boot the ball. And I knew that it was a goal. We're 2-0 down. And we started really well. But many times in this game, I've spoke about this in a few <laughs> some of the past episodes, the goalkeepers do this weird technique where they palm the ball over their heads. And that's absolutely fine. But look at this. It's hit the bloody idiot in the head, looped up, and this time it's on the underside of the bar. It's not even an own goal because it's going in, but whatever. It is an own goal. It's absolutely comical. It's bloody ridiculous. And the thing is, we've got a lot of on-form players here. And we're 2-0 down. These bullshit low crosses, man. Sol Campbell rampaging down the right-hand side. He's angry. He wouldn't like Sol when he's angry. Christ almighty, he's in the box. Shira. Oh. Not enough power on it. I think we're very... Is this... The tenth game, this is our second defeat, but I'm just concerned by our form here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm wondering where that next win is gonna come from. Oh my goodness gracious me, it's down that side every time, man. I think this game's over already. It's Christian Vieri. We know how good this guy is. Sign him on Champman or one or two back in the day every freaking save I have. It's a diving header. Guided to perfection, and on 27 minutes, it's 3 0. I, I, I'm just speechless. No game is the same. That's what I'm saying about this game. One of the reasons it's so damn good. Bramley saw keeps it in. England really need one goal back before half time if they to stand an outside chance of getting back in this game. I think at half time I'm going to go to a 4 3 3. Attacking. Is it the formation? The left, our right. I mean, I think it's just a coincidence, really. He's always playing on this side, though, and he's. Oh, that is sensational! Well, on this form, you have to say. Are Italy looking good to win this competition? This ain't going to do anything for our goal difference, I'll tell you that much. Shearer's in here. And Peruzzi, he was a great goalkeeper. He comes out and smothers the shot. I tried to lob the keeper there. Very concerning, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. And David Seaman finally makes a save. And it's 4 0. Is that the area again? You've got to be having a laugh here. It's Di Matteo. Is that Di Matteo? 28. Di Mazze. Replay should offer a better view. Beating Sol Campbell to the header. And I'm just shell shocked here. I'll be totally honest with you. Superb passing play. It's an attack from nothing. 
Is this the formation? I mean, <coughs> everything they've, they've hit has gone in. He's got past his man. That's to the far post. Well, this will probably be the video that gets most views in this Let's Play. There's Zola, it could be five. It's just pure damage control now. And there we have it, it's half time. And the score is 4-0. England are struggling. Gubber says we're struggling. We certainly are. Five shots to six. Um, look at all the happy faces. Now, these are going to be unhappy faces probably for the next game. What are we doing here? Zone press? Whatever, man. I don't give a shit. We're getting hammered. 4-3-3-B. Um, three, three, Let's go 4-4-2. Four, four, no, I don't want to. Um... No, we're on the right-hand side. Why? Why are we on the right-hand side? I'm looking at the green left-hand side of the pitch there, not the blue right-hand side. Bit dumb. Anyway. 4-3-3 uh, three, three attacking now. So it's just ints in the hole. Gary Neville, all the goals have come from that side, but I don't really want to put Southgate there. I can't explain what the hell's going on. He made that his... The short pass finds its target. Wonderful. He's headed the ball on. Let's hope there's no more punishment here, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolute aberration. That's what it is. Oh, for Christ's sake. This is De oh, Delivio, this guy. Yeah, I remember him. Oh, another low cross. And that should have been five. Their crossing has just been absolutely sensational. The passes are spread around well. Slotted through beautifully. There's Fowler, it's a goal back. Pick that ball up, you dickheads. Get it back to the centre circle. Teddy Sheringham, fantastic pass. Fowler slots it home. 52 minutes on the clock. It's 4 1. Intercepted. Superb passing play. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. I know you're all hoping it's a miraculous comeback here. Alexander Hilly going wild. One of those legendary moments. Well, I would love to see it, but I really don't see it. Oh. Sol Campbell floundering though. Ball's about 15 feet up in there and he's jumping for it. That's possession. The ball distribution is slotted through beautifully. It's so, so slow to the ball though. It felt like the player was magnetically attached to the ball. Oh, that's shit. Passes are spread around well. You know, I've got um for the cursor change, I've got it set to auto. I might change it to manual because sometimes it just changes it to players I don't want it to. Might help me. Superb passing play. Come on. A sudden burst of speed. That's great football. The defender refuses to give up. The cross win. Oh my god! Overhead kick, it's the bloody bar. That would have been one of the best goals I've ever seen on this game. Slotted through beautifully. And that would have been the second goal. Italy farting about with the ball in the aftermath of that. Oh my days. It's Fowler. Oh, hit it. Oh my god, that's a shot. Well. Neville. Oh, you dickheads. One of you. Come on. The ball is good. The Brilliant. The second half. Come on, Gaza. Slow down on the emulator there. 
That's fair a lot. That's showing him. Oh. Hints. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, and you know it, game. Take a piss, mate. Superb passing play. <laughs> Christian Vieri at 25 against Stuart Pierce. At 36. Remember having a look at Christian Vieri's stats on Wikipedia. He did score some goals in the 90s. Very nomadic striker. Probably would have done well in Premier League as well. Here's Gascoigne. Oh, and Perutzi. I'm telling you something. I think we deserve to be level. I really do. Oh. Let's just make a change because we can. Get my man on some fresh legs. How did, how did that not connect? I don't understand the crosses in this game. Your players don't try to... From corners, they don't try to head it in. A dangerous looking tackle. Stuart Pierce, psycho, mate. Way, what the hell was that? A perfect pass to feet. What a crazy game of football. Oh. The ball distribution is good. Fair look. And this left hand side. Stopped in his tracks. Fuck off. You can get a ball. He tries the shot. It's loose. The short pass finds its target. The passes are spread around well. This is injury time. Superb. Pass. That was a foul. This is injury time. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Tell you what. Go by there saying strong words from the manager, but I've got to be honest, Tony. It's just some absolutely... Shocking defending in that first half. I think every single goal of theirs came from their left, our right. So many great crosses. But in that second half, we were all over them. And one of the goals was a comical own goal. I'm going to blame the game a little bit as well, saying it's bullshit. Just because I want to. <laughs> um, quite a few other goals going into today. Germany beating South Africa 3-2. But yeah, um, that was an absolute hammering on the scoreboard. But I don't think it was that one-sided. I think that in the second half, we had about five or six shots, which could have got in. We had more shots than in the entire game. And by the end, I think we were deserving possibly of a draw. And that overhead kick, oh my days. Great game. Sure, something interesting for you guys to watch. Your first absolute hammering. Uh, I think we see, received one or two hammerings in ISS Pro Evolution 2. I think Norway might beat us 3-1. Not much so much hammering, but uh, yeah, that was. And now we are down in fifth, 4-4-2 on the win, lose and draw. Bullwood, it's not looking good. We are struggling and I'm starting, if I'm being honest, wondering where the next win is going to come. So before the video ends, ladies and gentlemen, let us see who we've got in the next game I don't know how many games have gone without a win I don't want to look but I think it's something like four or five now we are on a bad run of form <laughs> yet again what can I tell you you're not gonna want to miss it we're going away from home to Argentina I've England never played away to Argentina in a friendly probably not they wouldn't get out of there alive but ladies and gentlemen that's all the more motivation that we need because this is one of the biggest games of the competition for us so far. It's one of the, our rivals away from home and we'd love it if we beat them. Stay tuned, watch the next video, find out what happens. Bye-bye.